Hello, so welcome to part 6 of this hostel building structural design and on this part 6 we are going to check each of the each of these structural members to see the kind of reinforcement that was used to design for this structure. In the part 5 we perform the full structural design and where we have to um, make some changes and choose the uh, we will choose the material properties and all that and we now perform the full structural analysis and design why on this part six right now you can see that most of the members are failing and even the ones that are showing green who have to check each of the members to see to, to not see the kind of reinforcement that was used to pass the structural members so after you're done with your structural design it is always good to perform what they call interactive design to now check the kind of reinforcement to the, the the kind of levers that was used to now design for that for, 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 for those members. So right now we, we will be checking all the social members one after the other. So we will just go back right now to like plan view. So go right now and click on plan view here. On plan view. And on plan view just now, we will now begin to check the members. I will still go back again. So um, I will start from story story one because this is always story two. So I'll start from story one. I'll go right now and go to story one. And then right on story one just now, I will now go and click back on my um, design status, which I'll still go here and then activate my my um my this this stage, this status stage, and I'll click on OK. So from this place right now. I want to begin to check um, each of my members if they are okay. So I'll begin to check each of the members right now. So it is always good to check each of your beam one after the other so that you don't that you, that you can be able to know the kind of reinforcement that was used, that, that the software used to design for your structure or, or, or for that member. So you can see that it is using um two y13 and 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 we, and we want our size of 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 um of, of our steel for the for for beams to be 16 minimum so we will just go here and change to 16 and you can see that the area of steel here is very very small 0.04 so as you can see that these two these two button here is not okay we will have to increase it to three so that it can give it enough um enough steel area as you can see that so we will now click on okay so right now the but but before this beam was showing green but even at that i say always check your beam to be able to, to be sure the kind of reinforcement that was used to pass that that member so with that right now i will check each of the beams right now one for the other always spend time to, to like do this this area looks very, very boring but spend time to do it so that you will be sure of your design don't depend solely on the software to give you everything so i'll change all my all this one up now to like 16 and check my and check my and check my area of steel if it's okay and since it's already looking okay i'll just click on okay and then i'll move again to the next again so i'll just check your bin i'll check all these beams as you can see i'll check all of them before i move on to the next which is the foundation design which is the part seven and we'll be using the rough foundation for the design so i'll say you stay tuned to wait for the next stage which is the rough foundation Okay, so you cannot see that now. If this stage looks very, look very, very boring for you, I'll say that you can just um, skip, the, skip the video and wait for the next part, which is the part seven. But if you want to be a and if if, if, if you want to be good in structural design and also want to build your career, I'll say you can. You, you should take all the time to always check your um, beams. Okay, so I'll do the same thing for there and then check here also and check this one. Check this one right now. Here yeah. and then check again. Now this bit is very, very massive. This is over 80 meters by by 35 meters building length and width. So it's very massive one. It is a live project which is for hotel for sorry for hostel building. Okay, I'll check here also and then check here, check here now and then also check change this and change this too. And say okay. I'll do the same thing here also. Come here. I'll, I'm, I am checking for all the horizontal first. I'm not entering the verticals. So I always spend time to check my designs. Okay, and click on this. And I'll go here and check this one. Click and check. It will check all these beams now at this very length of grid 
You can see that it's showing the full length of it. So I'll check that right now. I don't like this this to be 16 and this 20. I don't like it. I want to make it to be 16 and then I also increase to 3 and then therefore I'll increase to 3 and make here to also be 16 and 3. Okay, and they make here 16 and make here it used to 16 and make it to be 4, 3, sorry, 3. Make it to be 3, 2. So I have 3 top 3 down on around this pan. And I'll check again. I'll make here to be 3 as support. So just to increase this, you can see that before when it was 2, the area of T here was 8 points, which is very, very small. I'll increase it to 3, to, to, to 3 just to increase the area of T here. And I'll also decrease this and make this to be, sorry, make it to be 16, sorry, 16. Now increase this again, make it to be, okay, this is, this is a uh, make to be 3 here. Okay, just to increase the area of T down here. And I'll um, increase this, this is okay, this is 40, make it to be 3, so, so actually, generally, I'll just use this to be 3, 3, 3 top 3 down for this entire beam, for, for this beam here. Make this to be 16, and this is okay. Okay, because of this pine here is 2.4 meters, made it to be 16, sorry, 16, and then decrease this to 16, and it will fail here, and then increase, to, increase it to 3. So because of this 3, I'll make it to be 3, too, so that it not cause confusion during, during the construction. Okay, so that they will not know that they, that they, are, that, that they will use 3 top and 3 down for this, for this beam. I'll do the same thing here. And then increase this to be three. Do the same thing here. Three top here. Three button. Sorry. Three top. Make it here too. The same thing. Decrease. Sorry. Increase. Not decrease. Increase. And make it to be three here. Three. And then increase here. And here to be three too. And then last. Make here three. Sorry. Sixteen. And make it to be three. Three. And then go here 16 and three numbers, and then three numbers of the 16, and that's okay. And I've got now click on OK. So right now I have I've checked for all these ones right now. The same thing I'll do for all that beams which I which I have here. So I'll do the same thing. So always, always follow the same step to perform to check your beams. Always check your beams because if you don't check your beams, then that means there is no need for you using the software. That means you're just depending solely on the software. By you checking your beams just now, you are saying that you are also you are also check check meeting the software. And, and for a good and for a good civil and structural engineer, you're meant to check me the software. Don't just depend on the software for everything. Check me the software. Even when even when the software say say it is okay, you have to check it to, to, to now give to now give it a choice. That is why this stage is called interactive design. You are not trying to discuss, like trying to discuss, interact with the software. Okay, so I'll check this one also. And then I'll check also this one. I'll check this one also. And then, okay, let me check for what is happening here. I'm already seeing the area of here very small, having here to be three. So here, 16, I'll make it to be three here. Three. Come here, reduce to 16 diameter and make it to be three numbers. Do the same thing here. Three numbers. Three numbers, diameter 16. 16, three numbers. Come here, 16, three numbers, 16. Come here, 16, three numbers. Come here, 16, three numbers. Come here, 16, three numbers. Okay, come here, 16, come here, 16, three numbers, come here, 16, okay, come here, 16, sorry, and come here, 16 here, and I'll go again, forward, and I'll move again forward, but it has been very, very long, increase here, 16, number, 16 diameter and increase to 3 numbers do the same thing here I want to have a different number of reposition on this area except the, the place where it's having higher moments so I'll just use my minimum number on this beam to be 3 number of them that is 16 okay and then the same thing happens here also 
this tree and then here also come here tree come here sorry come here again increase here increase the number to be three come here number to be three come here number to be three come here increase it to be three three here and then come here 16 no, this in diameter so always check your beam please check your beams and column please before you can now say that you're done with your design don't just stop at the stage where you have click on the on the design button and once it's done you now say you're done no no you're 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 you not yet done always check the kind of reference that was used to that do not design you can change it if you don't want the what the software gave to you that is why you are that, that's why you are called a structural engineer you are not called a software engineer to just depend on software on what they give to you no use the software to just listen the process but after check the software to see the kind of to 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 not see the, how the software behaved to your to your structure and if you don't like it you can do begin to make, to make adjustment that is why this that, that, that I, like, like put this stage it, had it been this software wanted to be fixed they wouldn't have given you this option to change your your bars but because they because they want to give you authority as a structural or same engineer they are, they are giving you the chance to play with it to increase your number of investment and also the size if you don't want what they what they give to you okay okay so i'll move again right now and then go again now there's something we call equidel mentorship program we are train people especially on on the design of, of buildings so if you're interested i'll say i should click on the link down, down below and enroll yourself on that and we will train you especially on building design and also social designs and also pipe foundation foundation and all that kind of foundations and different kind of buildings we will train you and drill you until you're very good in, in, in your designs and in your career okay and then we move again that here and increase this also here and then increase this here okay come here and increase this here and increase this here okay same thing here increase this here and increase this here okay that's nice okay i'll move again and then let me start from here also from here increase and increase okay and do the same thing here increase the number and increase this increase the certain number okay here again increase the, the, the size and increase the number or, or the quantity here again increase the size and increase the quantity okay here again increase the size and increase the quantity again here again the size and the quantity also Here again, size and quantity. Okay, almost done. Here again, size and quantity increase it. Okay, now move again up again and do the same thing for here. Increase the size and the quantity. Increase here the quantity. Increase here, the size here and the quantity. Come here again. Increase here size and quantity. Come here again, increase and quantity. Same thing here too, increase here and increase here. Same thing here too, increase the, sorry, let me go back front again. Okay, increase here, and increase here too. Okay. Increase the size and the quantity also. The same thing here too, size and quantity. Okay. Same thing here also, size and quantity. OK. 
Okay. Same thing here also, size and quantity. Okay. Same thing here, size and quantity. That's nice. And the same thing here also, size and quantity. Increase here and increase here. And go again and then increase here and increase here. Decrease here and increase here. Decrease here and increase here. Okay, so you can now see how it took us time to pass through this stage and I'll now click on OK. So the same steps which you have seen me take is what you still take again for the rest. So because this video is very massive and I want to save the time duration for this video, so I'll just show you how what to do after you have done with your structural design and also analysis. You have to come to perform the full interactive design where you have to check your beams one after the other and also check your column also so you can see what i've done just now use the same step of what i've done to check all your beams and your columns and then once you have confirmed all your size of your information and the number and you're okay with it that is when you cannot be okay so in the next stage we are going to which is the part um which is the part um seven of this video training we are going to perform the foundation design, which is the right foundation, and then we will now move in to, uh, we will now move into the structural detailing. Okay, so right now we have done checking this area, but I, I was going to check all the beams, but to take longer time, to take like three hours, and I want to save time for this video duration so that it will not um, waste much time during during the video upload. And also, it will, it, will, it will be nice you you also watching me repeating the same steps. So since I've already shown you one or two steps, so use the same steps of what I've shown you just now for all your structural design in both our structure and in other software. Always check the always check your members after designing to see the kind of reinforcement that the that the that the software use to design for for that for that structure. Okay, so right now we are. I'm going to pause this video right now to finish up what I've done and then I will now move on to the foundation stage which I will come back to the part 7 for the foundation stage. So if you have watched this very extent, I'll say God bless you and if you have missed the part 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5 of this video, I'll say that you should please check on the link down below and watch all the parts so that you can be able to flow or follow up with what we are doing just now. Okay, so thank you so much and God bless you and watch out for the part 7 which is the foundation design. Goodbye.